Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Atrix 2 once again. I'm going to show you guys on how to install a Clockwork Mod onto the Atrix 2 so you're able to have a custom recovery to be able to install various ROMs. Uh, the first part of this, you're going to have to install the uh, Atrix 2 Bootstrap by Nitroglycerin33. Um, so let's once we download that, we'll be pretty much ready. I'll have the link on the description below. We're also going to download the um, uh, Razer Clockwork Mod on, Bulu on Boot Global by JY Daddy, and we're also going to put that on the SD card. So let's start off. So first, first of all, let's have our USB plugged into our phone, and we are going to choose USB connection, and then choose USB mass storage and click OK. So then we're going to go to our computers here and we should get a pop-up once it's ready. And there you go. Open folder and we're just going to copy over the Atrix 2 bootstrap right into the um, the SD card there, as well as the Razer Clockwork Mod on Boot Global by JY Daddy, right there. And now we're just gonna eject it. Alrighty. So now we're gonna go back to our phones here. And we're gonna scroll down, USB connection and we're going to char do charge only and click OK. Uh, before we continue to the next step we need to make sure that we have um, allowed to install from unknown sources so we're going to choose the menu, choose settings, applications and then sorry uh, unknown sources make sure you have the green checkbox there so when you do that, you're going to get this pop-up message that says uh, you're more vulnerable, click yes, and we're good to go. So the next step would be to click the home button there and load up the built-in file manager. Click my files. We're going to scroll down and we're going to choose Atrix 2 Bootstrap and we're going to say to install. and then we're going to click open. So now you get um, the Atrix Bootstrapper here. I want to click Bootstrap Recovery and it's going to ask us do you allow? I'm going to say we allow and you get a success message. Click OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click Reboot Recovery and now the phone should reboot into recovery. just wait for it to happen. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So we loaded up uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, the, you know, this is your standard recovery that you'd see on pretty much every other phone. So the next thing we're going to use is we're going to use the volume buttons to scroll on here. So we're going to scroll down to where it says install zip from SD card and then we're going to use the power button to accept that and then we're going to choose the first option which is uh, choose zip from SD card and once again press the power button and we're going to scroll down to Razer Clockwork Mod which is the other zip file we chose select that and then we're going to click yes we want to install it and here we go and it's installing the modification. This was actually made for the Droid Razor but it works perfectly for the Atrix 2. So we're done here. So now we're gonna scroll to go back. Press the power button there and then we're gonna choose reboot system now. So we're gonna press the power button there. So at this point uh, the phone should reboot right back into uh, Android. OK. 
and we were booting back to Android. I uh, had a technical difficulty there, so with the camera, but it should be okay. So we're booting back to Android. Okay, so we are almost done booting here. Alright, so next thing you want to do is actually uh, deny super user access to the Atrix2 bootloader. So what we're going to do here is we're going to load up super user. And then right now, as you can see, it says allow. So we don't want it to allow. So we're just going to click on there. And then down here, there's that little Andy the Android right there. So we're going to click that. And now it says status denied. And we're going to click the back button. And as you can see, it says deny Atrix2 bootloader. It's actually a very important step for this to actually work properly. So now I'm just going to press the home button here and we're done here. But to test it out, I'm going to shut down the phone. Power off. Ideally when I turn the phone back on now, you would expect it to load up the Clockwork Mod uh, recovery. The reason why this is better than having to boot into your actual operating system before you can reboot into it is because if you have a boot um, boot loop or anything else you can easily get into recovery and fix the issues so this is definitely the desirable method even though every single time you restart the phone you have to do the extra step of clicking reboot now once it loads up on clockwork mods however if something were to happen this would be so much better because you can definitely fix the issue so as you can see clockwork mod automatically booted up and that's exactly what we want so now you know we just press power button up there to say reboot system now and it'll just reboot uh, into Android uh, this, I, like I said this is definitely the desirable method to uh, have this done because if you're working with various ROMs or something goes wrong with your ROM or you want to restore an old ROM you can easily get into clockwork mod be able to do a restore be able to install a new ROM no problems there is that one extra step but it's definitely worth it at the end so as this continues to boot, just want to say uh, that's how to install the Clockwork Mod recovery on the Atrix 2. And um, obviously, uh, big props to um, Nitroglycerin 33 for the Atrix 2 bootstrap. And of course, um, also thanks to JY Daddy for the um, the recovery. Uh, on boot global so every time you restart you have it like I said that makes development a lot easier for these phones and um, yeah that's it for right now enjoy the Atrix 2 guys